about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know good morning guys today we're back in my hometown we went up to new york we're out of some might call it the fishing capital of the world, certainly the surf fishing capital of the world, one of the best places to fish in, in the world. That's Montauk, Long Island. And today we're with our buddy Chris. He is behind the helm, Captain Chris, and his dog Ace. Ace is very excited to go fishing and, of course, put in and dar sizzle. Yeah, and today we're going to be targeting sea bass and cod. Now, we've never caught cod. We very rarely go sea bass fishing, and we're actually doing something we never do, which is really jigging. So we're going to have a great time. We're going east out of Montauk. We're going to keep you guys apprised of all of where we're going and how we're fishing. And so uh, let's get right to it, our sizzle. It's a little bit of a chilly morning, but we got a little bit of a ride out there, so I'm all bundled up. <laughs> let's go. All right. On. All right, guys, we're at the first spot. Mark some fish on the depth finder, and we sent down. I'll show you the rig here in a second, but using a light setup, jigging. See if I can get this fish up first though and not lose it. Haha, -ha, look at that. My first ever cod. Is that a keeper? No. Look at that. That's the jig that he just ate. Super easy. Just literally dropped it to the bottom, reeled it up a couple cranks, and it was fish on. Fish, the screen is lit up. But that is my first ever cod. Check that out. So cool. All right, we gotta get him off and let him go. Very cool. Now I just got to catch a keeper. There is a slot limit for these for the cod. They have to be 22 to 28 inches long, so that fish was nowhere near a keeper. But let's drop right back down and see if we can hook another one. On. That was instant. Second you drop it down, it was like fish on. Don't have to do much jigging, even though we are jigging. Hooked up, right? Doubled up now. But we're using the jig, and then on top of that, we got like a little teaser rig, but catching most of the fish on the bottom hook. Nice little fight on this light tackle setup, though. What do we got? What do we got? Black sea bass. A black. I got two. Woo, check that out. One upside down hook <laughs> on that guy. Poor guy. <laughs> we'll let him go. Both of these fish are not keepers. With my first double up on this rig. Nice. Oh, he's got a stud. All right, so you're only allowed three per person on the sea bass. And they have to be a minimum of 16 and a half inches to the middle filament. <laughs> you know the terms. Yeah, got to learn the terms. And I just learned that they're hermaphrodites. Jeez, this one digging. What do we got here? Probably a nice sea bass. I'm not sure. We're just moving spot to spot, guys, trying to find fish. That's what you do when you're out here fishing. And Captain Chris is putting us on the fish today. This is a nice fish when I initially hooked it. We're going to find out what it is, though. A cod. Nice. Look at that. Another cod for me. All right, this fish is one inch under being a keeper. First time ever, no, well, second time ever catching one. He's a really cold fish with cold water, but hopefully I'll get a keeper today. He's such a cool looking fish. Let's let him go. That's a nice fish. Get him up, Sizzle. He's coming up, he's coming up. That's a nice fish. Nice fight initially. He's starting to come up. Double header. Whoa, mine is a keeper. This is a monster. Wait, just flip them. Got him. Woo! Look at that one. Look at that fish, guys. <laughs> My first ever keeper cod, I believe. That's a nice one. Oh, Hook he's definitely set. a keeper. Perfect. All right, these fish are supposed to be excellent eating. I honestly don't know a ton about them because <laughs> this is not my home waters, but nice bite from this beautiful fish, and I'm excited to try cod for my first time ever. And he just said these are called the golden guppies up here in beautiful Montauk. So nice fish. We're going to get them in the live well, I guess, bleed them out and uh, put the lines back down and see what else we can get. Oh, 
I'm hooked up. Big one, big one, big one. Another oh, stud. Nice He's a little bigger, I think. They are pretty. All right, Todd number two for me in the boat. Another big one. We don't know actually the male, if they're male or female either. You can't tell, but they do have some sharp teeth in there. You guys can see in there. Definitely do not want to put your fingers in there. All right, now let me show you exactly the rig we're using to catch these beautiful, delicious fish. The rig we're using today is a jig and a teaser. Specifically on the bottom here, we have our diamond jig with our J hook. That's where I just caught those last two cods. And about two and a half feet up, we have our squid teaser with a hook as well. And we are using 50 pound mono as our leader line today and then Right here, the connection, you can see is a heavy duty swivel connected to the rig. And then to the main line here, we have another top shot at 50 pound leader. I would say that's only about six feet of line. And then on the spool, we have 50 pound braid as our main line. And this is a conventional Avit reel. And this is a paired with a custom seven foot rod. This is a Lama Glass blank. And that is the setup we're using today. So we're gonna drop it right back down to the bottom basically is hit the bottom, bring it up one or two cranks, and then usually the fish hit it, and occasionally you just give it a little twitch of the rod tip and just let it make a little bit of action in the water, but it doesn't take much. That was instant. Hooked up. Woo, pulling some drag now. <laughs> nice. All these bites are so close to bottom. We got a cod. Another nice one. Stud. That's awesome. Beautiful. What? What do you no. want to say? I'm excited. Yeah, it's great. They have like this little one whisker right here. It sticks see. out. What is it? Barbels. This thing. Just an interesting fish. All right, so we put them on the ground, he bleeds out the fish, and then we gut them ahead of time before filleting because I've learned that they are pretty nasty when you fillet them up. They're innards. You don't want that to get all over your delicious fish fillets. Very simple. In the live well he goes. Nice. Hooked up, that was instant. Whoa, he's pulled some drag. Digging, they're digging. Big cod, big cod. Woo! Jeez, that's a monster. Holy smokes. That is a longer sizzle. Holy cow. Look at that fish, guys. That's a stud. <laughs> Stud fish. He's got some kind of like discoloration up there. He's just from be be up on the rocks and stuff. Woo! Nice fish right there. Hooked up! <laughs> fish after fish. First time at this spot, just dropped right down. Second I locked up the reel, there was a fish on. We're doubled up. Doubled up. We like to see. Slow and steady. Woo! Good cod. Got him! Woohoo! Nice job, Sizzle. <laughs> Woo! You got two! Nice! That's awesome. Both keepers, too. Fill in the boat with cod. Watch out, buddy. Sorry. It's We're crazy. rocking out with our cods out. <laughs> cod.
Todd jokes all day long. <laughs> We're gonna be feeding everybody. Jeez. Hooked up. That time I didn't have to do nothing. He just came over and wanted to yank the rod out of my hand. Another cod. Oh, that's the first one I've caught on the top rig. Teaser. Nice. In the boat. Another cod. <laughs> Insane cod bite today, and he's off. Put the right back in, drop it back down. Are we doubled up over here? Yes, he is. Woo! Doubled up again. Chris another with another one, small fish. Another one. <laughs> what? Say Chris with another small fish. Another cod. In the boat you go. That might not be a keeper, or is that a keeper? Chris is hooked up over here again. Dang, crushing him. There we go. That's a real fish. Woo! Pulls them dry there. I wonder if this is gonna be a cod. Slow and steady, light tackle. Just nice and easy. Don't wanna pop them off. I'm not even gonna try to pump if I don't need to. What do we got? Shallow water, this spot. Leaders coming up. It's a cod. Another cod. A cod. That's a big one too. Woo! Yeah. 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 All right. We're going to keep them. Come here, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. All right, we just caught a cod. We're trying to catch a sea bass. No complaints. Cod are hard fighters. Woo, that's a nice one. And we're using lighter setup with the uh, diamond jig and the teaser to try and get some sea bass, but I'll take a cod all day too. It's a cod day. All right, we're gonna bleed them and put them in the live well. We made a quick pit stop Captain Chris said we had to get banana mudslides, so we're right here in Banana Harbor. <laughs> okay, sorry. We made a quick pit stop. We are here in New Harbor, Block Island. We just stopped at Champlin's, Champlin's behind us, I think I pronounced that correctly, to get banana mudslides. Captain Chris has been talking about this forever, and these things are absolutely delicious. I haven't finished mine yet, but we got a little bit of a slow roll out the harbor and then we're gonna head back towards montauk but pretty cool stop brian has never been here in his entire life let's go chisel all right we hit this wreck right outside of block island Woo! after our after our uh mudslide stop let's see if we get a good sea bass in here chris has been throwing out our sea basses because they're not big enough for him hey oh, yeah. two what? What? Three? What? What? Right now? <laughs> That's on one hook. Two fish on That's one awesome. hook. That's awesome. That's awesome. At least one might be a keeper. Maybe. -ish. That one's a keeper, I think. One of that one. That, that one guy is. is. What do you think, Chris? He knows. That one's too. He's small. He's a little too small for Chris. He's too small for, for, for keeping. Period. That's yep. Yeah, he's too yeah. short. Yeah. Throw him back. Throw him back. We don't need a jinx it. We're only keeping big sea bass today. That's correct. That one's double header. That big one, the other one was 16. That one's got to be 17 or 18. Yeah. Nope. 16. Wow. Oh, he looked bigger. He did look bigger. I believe you. Huh. All right. All right, we'll try that again. That was crazy. I just caught three fish. <laughs> what? Three fish on two hooks. All right. There he is. I don't. Whoa! Nice one, Sizzle. Whoa! He's gonna be close. That's Keeper? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a monster. Nice one. He did not fight hard, but I didn't fight feed three fish this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Nice. Nice sea bass. I finally got a keeper today. Beautiful fish. It's gonna eat good. All right, though, Sizzle, we're back at the, back on land. Back on land, correct. Back at one of our, his friend's houses, actually. Yeah, we're back at our friend Rich and Jill's. Yes. They got two boys, and uh, they're letting us use their backyard to clean fish. Yeah, so we, this is what they do to clean fish in their backyard. They got a plywood board here, and this is exactly where they do it, under the shade. Yeah. You never get that here back in Florida. We learned in, on Long Island, you're not allowed to throw fish carcasses into the bay or the ocean. No. Like, you have to, like, dispose of them some other way, so. Yes. We're not throwing it at the bags. dock or whatever. Yep. Totally different than but I want to give a big thanks to Chris for taking us out fishing. Yes. That block island and everything else. It was so much fun. We killed the fish. Yeah. Excellent day. <laughs> Sick. Excellent day. And everybody here has like never seen a cod either. Yeah, they don't fish for cod here, I guess, a lot. But just yeah. summertime cod, go get them. Yep. Anyway, see what you All got right, here, Sizzle. So they're in this cooler that we borrowed. <laughs> it's also we did not this is guy's cooler, which is take brother. a ton of fish, because we don't need a ton of fish, but again, this is more than enough to feed us, so we're gonna be feeding their friends or the people that are letting us borrow the place here. But let's pull one out and fillet it up. Nice. My first cod ever. Nice. Um, actually, let's get the hose on and I'll spray him down because he is slightly slimy. He's supposed to grab it. Nice job. Got my knives nice and sharp before we got here. I actually brought them with us, put it in our check luggage. So let's just dive right into this. For my first ever cod, we're going to go ahead and fillet him up. And this is going to do it like any other fish. And as I do this, I'm trying to figure out how far I can get into the head. Looks like pretty far. Wow, looks really good. Looks like grouper. All right, big piece of meat there. Whoa. All right, so literally just learning as I go here. I've never filleted a cod in my life, but doing it as a standard fish. Look how excellent that meat looks. Holy smokes. It does look nice, doesn't it? Really good. Now everybody up here says they love cod. They love New England cod. I guess that's a type of way to cook it. Well, I'm excited to have it for the first time ever. Wow. Kind of reminds me of a snakehead a little bit. Sticks no. out a bit right here. Oh, okay. Like the way the fish is shaped. Beautiful. Look at that meat. I was warned that there's a lot of worms in the meat of a cod, and so far I have not seen anything, but we knocked out the two loins. I mean, it looks excellent to me so far, but let's go ahead and skin it now and uh, see if I actually see anything. But so far, I'm not seeing a ton. Now, I know some fish have more than others or whatever the deal is. Not 100% sure what kind of worms they are. Yeah, definitely thin skin. Keep it up just a smidge. I don't know how easy it is to cut through. Right, bring it to the edge of the table. You have a lot more control. There we go. Voila, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, there's a worm. I think that's a worm. Mm -hmm. See that? No. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. So, unless what do you do with the worms? Unless it's just part of the fish, but there's another piece coming out right here. Really small worms. I don't know if you guys see that. I can put them on my hand and show you. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the worms. I'm assuming it was right on the on the bloodline though, where the bloodline would be. But you can see that this nerve meat or the the uh, bloodline or nerve meat, whatever you call it in the middle, there's really nothing there at all. It's like yeah. boneless, delicious piece of meat. Actually, his bones right here. We gotta knock <laughs> out a little bit of bones. A little pin bones. That's normal. Right up here, right. a little bit of pin bones. That's normal. But besides that, I mean, it looks excellent. Doesn't smell fishy, very firm. It looks great. And I think I did a good job for my first cod ever. Yes, great job there, Sizzle. All right, we're gonna get to that, back to my sister's house. And we're gonna cook it up. First time having cod. Are you excited? I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited, it looks delicious. Have you had cod? Never. I'm, I'm sure I have in restaurants because cod is known as like a, 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 a like a light, you know, non-fishy white fish medium that you know people serve right. in restaurants all over the place. So I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more worms though. Though you want more worms? No. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. Let's all right, this. all let's right. Let's go back let's to the house. Let's back them up. 
All right, guys, back at my sister's house. Welcome to Cooking with Puddin. And we did a standard fish and chips. That's what you do with cod, isn't it? That's what you get at the restaurant. That's usually cod. And again, like I said, we we're cleaning the fish. This is a delicious white fish. I got all the B-roll right here for you. Uh, not very fishy. And you can really do anything you want to it. So I just did a standard uh, flour, egg, egg wash, into the panko breadcrumbs, into the frying pan. Then I just got some... Uh, what are these called? Then I just then I, then I just got some French fries, fried them up in the same oil, and it's been awesome. Let's try it, Sizzle. And we're dipping it. Usually you can use tartar sauce, but we're using this yum yum sauce. So how is this, Sizzle? Are you just really good? Fun? Yeah. Mhm. Mm it's, it's better really than good. what you get at a restaurant. Just like big and alafia stuff. Focus on that. It's big flaky pieces. Mhm. Mm it's delicious. I love the cod. Cod is excellent. I'm glad that we got to try it. Really good. All right. So thanks, Chris, for taking us out. <laughs> we can eat the rest of our fish and chips. And until next time. Oh. I'll get open my beer. I gotta swallow. Until next time, <laughs> follow Again, your dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. Catch Cheers. You gotta catch up on your beer. I know. <laughs>